This is another Chaotic Perfection tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this little intro with Adobe After Effects 7.0. Okay, so let's get things started. We're going to make a new composition. We're going to make the preset NTSC D1 widescreen square pixel. So it can be in widescreen 16 by 9. Make it around 15 seconds. You know, we can make it 10 if you want, but I'm going to make it 15. Press OK. And. First, to start things off, I'm just going to show you the things that I've imported. Uh, this is a little picture, the Gears of War 2 icon that I got from the internet. And I have right gear elements and evolution elements, which I have imported. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can buy those at Video Copilot or find a torrent for them. I'm not too sure. I got mine at Video Copilot. Okay, so we're going to make a new solid. Right click, new solid. We're gonna make it white. Make comp size. And I'm just gonna drag this down. So we can get that widescreen effect somewhat. Pretty sure there's a better way to do this. <laughs> and now we're gonna drag in our Gears of War 2 icon. We're just gonna scale this up. If you click if you highlight it and click S. You can bring up the scale and just scale it up. Let me just fit, cover the white. Looks perfect, right? All right. Close that down, and now we're gonna go into make a new solid. Sorry, we're gonna make this one black. Press OK. Scale this down again. This can be our little title screen. That right there. Get the rotate um, icon and just rotate it slightly. Make it a little longer so you can fit if you need to drag this around. Make it just a tad bit smaller. Okay, now we're gonna go to our text tool and we're just gonna type in a simple title. Um, how about uh, my name? We're gonna grab this. All right, sorry, move it around over here. Scale it up just a little bit. Rotate it. And then you're gonna duplicate but um, the black solid that we made here. Let's title that right now. We'll title it um, title screen. And we're gonna duplicate that by pressing Control and D. All right. Now we're just gonna make these a little smaller to add a little different kind of effect to the title. Here we can zoom in, scroll up with your mouse, make that a little proportional. Okay, and then we're going to do this again for the bottom layer. Control D on the layer you want to duplicate. Scroll in. Right around there. Okay, so far we have this, and now for the title, we're actually going to make an effect. So we're going to right click on the layer, go to effect, generate, oh no, sorry, blur sharpen radial, CC radial fast blur. And drag this over to the left, on right here. Set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch center 
and then we're gonna drag it over just for about two two and a half seconds and then drag this over to the right Okay, and now let's add some color to it. So effect, uh, generate, and ramp. I'm just gonna rotate these, make this uh, start color, the black, turn it to like a blue. line them up to where how you like the picture kind of white and blue on top okay it looks pretty good like that okay and now if we go to our project window we can go to our flourishes that is in evolution and let's see we're gonna take flourish number 14 and I think six. Yeah, 14 and six. Just drag these out to the comp. Press S, scale it down. Give it so you can see where it's at. Yeah, scale that down a little more. And we're actually gonna drag these behind our title screen. So as you can see, it's behind it. And now we're gonna rotate it. We can scale that up a little bit more. Oh, sorry. Okay, now we're going to take our flourish number six and drag this out to the comp scale it in as well and then drag it behind the title screen <laughs> 